Welcome back to the channel. In December, I ran two hours and 24 for the marathon in Valencia, but now that's old news. It's a new block towards the London Marathon. It's 10 and a half weeks until the London Marathon. That is my goal. Um, I've got a lot of work to do. I'm taking a slightly different approach, but I'll talk about that another time. Today we have a session. I'm on the trails doing K on, K off. It's a session I love. Um, I mostly do it on the roads, but I have done it on the trails before. I'm doing it on the trails just uh, because it's fun. I don't have to worry about paces. I'll be doing it all effort based. And yeah, it's uh, a good stress on the body, stresses the muscles in different ways, makes me a bit stronger going uphill and hopefully bangs up the quads a bit going downhill. Quads were a big issue in Valencia, so I want to strengthen those. But yeah, we're on the way to the nine mile loop. Callie will be filming on the bike. And let's go, get, <laughs> let's go get it done. I don't know what that wave was. <laughs> So I'll talk through the session in a bit more detail. If I was doing this on the roads, I would be doing the ons close to threshold and the offs about 20 seconds a kilometre or about 30 seconds a mile slower, so really quite steady. Uh, the last time I did this session before Valencia, I averaged 5.33 a mile, which is about 3.27 a kilometre. And that ended up being slightly slower than what marathon pace was on the day. But normally I find this session, if you can average marathon pace for the ons and offs averaged over the whole session, then that's a pretty good predictor um, as long as you've done the long runs and the work. I'll be doing 18 miles today. I'm going to do a 5k warm up, uh, 10 times k on off, and then 5k cool down. On the trails, looking forward to it. Um, won't be averaging 5.33 a mile, um, but I will be doing it to effort. So we'll just run pretty hard, trying to hit threshold effort for the ons and then float as steady as I can, as honest as I can, and see what it brings. It's Thursday and what you can hear in the background is Matt getting out an electric bike that we've got um, for filming purposes. So I've been out for a little run this morning, had to run back for a mad poo dash, so I didn't really get my run done. Um, and now I'm out filming Matt. Trying to get to grips with this bad boy today. So if you don't hear from me from here on in, I'll get Matt to upload this weekly vlog. This is where it ended. <laughs> <laughs> it's a death trap. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Caffeine. Always oh, caffeine, 200 milligrams. You feel in this one? Yeah. So, I'm going with my normal, what I went with Valencia, homemade maltodextrin, cheap as chips. Um, worked really well the whole block. But also, just because I really like the flavour and it's got caffeine in as well, um, I'm going to go with this uh, beta fuel. It's got 40 grams in here plus caffeine and yeah it's got a sour flavor it just sort of wakes me up a little bit i tried this just because i had one a long run last week with andy and it just worked very well so yeah i'm gonna take both of these and see how it goes one tip the saw shorts marathon shorts amazing i put all my gels and stuff in here morton gels you can fit in here great thumbs up if you try a bit of fuel it'll fling out remember that so kelly's on our new e-bike because last time she tried to film me doing this session on the loop, she couldn't keep up. <laughs> She's upgraded. <laughs> I dropped her on the hills. So the challenge is, can I drop her on an e-bike this time? You'll be pleased to know I've got no uh, electric right now. This is all pure pedal power. Don't make me run fast. I'm not just on warm up. <laughs> yeah, anyway, warm up. So I've gone for the vapor play today. I've been doing my pro long runs in the Nova Blast TR, which are amazing shoe. But I wanted to get a bit aggressive, a bit lighter, and uh, yeah, hopefully just run a bit faster today. And these vapor fly are absolutely wrecked. So it was either the bin or they become trail vapor fly. <laughs> Sorry. This is fantastic. I'm not having to pedal going up here. It's fantastic until we get to the second loop. And then it'll be fun and games. I thought Kelly came to film me and support me and she's shooting off up the hills on the e-bike. 
leaving me for dead. Having fun there. <laughs> oh, I felt as energetic as that bike. Steep descent, steep ascent. I'm back. <laughs> How are you feeling? Yeah, alright. Just a lot of uphill so far, but just steady. Not sure what the pace is. Lap pace 648. Lots of uphill in that. And 17 minutes in. So, we're starting soonish. <laughs> soonish, technical term. Alright, here we go. First on. Let's go. Oh, oh, first one? 331. Hey. Flight 535 or something, a mile. I wonder what the gap pace was though, because that felt tough. Yeah, it was that hill. <laughs> 330. Well then, all up here again. About 39 a mile. I saw the split probably the same. It's gonna be a tough day. Only two done, I'm struggling. But it's work that pays off in the long run. Whee! Hey! I always find it good to practice fueling when you're running pretty hard. Because it gives you the stress that you're gonna have on marathon day. We're working a bit harder. Trying to stomach that fuel. This is the peak. Um, this is about the point in the loop now. Literally, at the top. Last kick up here. Well done. So the next couple should be slightly faster, slightly easier for him, because it's uh, the downhill part before we do it all over again. Here we go. Got five ten pace. Again, losing focus, but I'm sure that hill will wake me up in a little bit. Oh, it's gonna be nasty! You know, I've got the rest of the work pretty much. I think probably one more K on slightly down and then it's all up. Time for some caffeine. Need to feel hopefully then it'll be well into my system in about 20 minutes when I'm deep into the hell. It's now number six. Yeah. I didn't even take my job up. 
I was really hard and it wasn't even uphill one. 323. Oh, that's really grinding this one out. It's alright, that gel's sticking. Sticking, kicking soon. Yeah. The cafe will be in me soon, I'm sure. But yeah, that was tough. Welcome back to Marathon Home, right? Well, it's nice to know that you find it tough sometimes. So we think that the next K on is going to start right at the bottom of the steep kick um, at the top of this hill. It's going to be pretty nasty. But as Matt said, all about the effort. It doesn't matter about pace. It's a hard effort, I think. But Oh, here we go. Thing is with that hill is uh once you've done that steep bit it's still carrying up yeah doing well what was that 356 well if this doesn't make me stronger i don't know what will that was absolutely savage <laughs> what on earth i felt like i was pushing yet standing still but uh, yeah it <laughs> I, it's, well, I don't know how you did that. What is it they say? It will make you or break you. I have to admit I'm pretty broken. <laughs> I'm not surprised, that was savage. And break, coming right up. Metal time. Woo! Really feeling it now. Well done. Here we go, civil medal time. Three thirty nine. Well done. Awesome stuff. Silver medal bagged. The gel kicked in yet? Hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Just one more to go. Just need to dig in for that last one. And then follow the way down the hill to finish the run off. Yeah, work banked. <sighs> Come on, London! Let's be having you. Oh. Alright, Stormzy. <laughs> more like Delia, isn't it? Half oh, time of the Norwich game. Uh. Who are you? <laughs> That's it, come on. So keep going. Great job. Try and do this K quite honest now and then steady down to the car. There we go, job done. Job done. Oh, that was really, really tough, but I think it's going to pay off. Just got to keep working. Whew. It was an eye-opener, a wake-up call for sure. But I just feel like these hills are going to make me so strong. 5k cool down to the car and a massive prone shake. Thanks for filming. How was the bike? The bike is so much fun. Um, I kind of feel like I've done nothing but got really hungry for it. 
it's bizarre. Cold um, hands. Cold hands. Cold hands. Cold toes. <laughs> cold face. Um, and yeah, tired now watching uh, all that work. Well done. Oh. Well, we got 2.8. Okay. Is that good? <sighs> to be honest, right now, I'm just trying to measure lactates after all my runs to learn more about my body. So that's what I would expect, pushing hard at the end of that run. It's not good, it's not bad, it's just learning about my physiology. So I've been doing zone two stuff and runs have been ending at about 1.4, 1.5. Um, I've been taking lactates in the middle of some lactates in different threshold sessions. And it's been like 2.5 for the sub threshold and like 3.2, 3.5 for threshold work. So what was that, 2.8? It means I've built up some lactate, but cleared a lot of it, happy with that. Right, just getting some protein in and carbs. It's a mixture, um, SIS Rego. Not sponsored, just that's what it is. I can't really talk. I'm absolutely smashed up from that. But Babe. yeah. Also, it's a massive vlog. It's a massive vlog. It's gone on too long. I'm gonna go. See you next time.